This is a short introductory movie on how to use LSEC Workspace to do an event study. LSEC Workspace is one of the newer databases uh, that we've uh, licensed in 2024, which uses an account and specific fact, uh, Workspace software. You can find details on downloading the Workspace software on the libguide finding data, which you see on your screen right, right now. Uh, the option to request an account to use Workspace will be available in January 2024. The example I have on my screen here is a download from uh, the STC Platinum database. You can also use downloads from other databases. Uh, if you want to do an event study using Workspace, you need to be sure to uh, include some identification codes that can be used in Workspace. In this example, uh, you see here I have ticker codes, CEDL codes, uh, data stream codes. QSUB6 cannot be used in workspace uh, without uh, a workaround, which is, uh, which is beyond the scope of this uh, introduction movie. Um, to work with this uh, sample, uh, which is a mergers and acquisitions sample, uh, and I have copied uh, the required information to a new sheet. So basically I need, for instance, the data stream code, which is the previous name for workspace, data stream, DS code, which worked uh, perfectly. And uh, I can also use the dates, uh, which I get from my uh, sample, which is the effective date. And I calculated uh, a date with 20 days uh, work days that is beyond uh, the date effective of the merger or acquisition. Using these two with, uh, for instance, the data stream code, I can do an event study in workspace. Uh, other codes you can use are ISIN codes and uh, QSIP 9 or 8 codes. Let's uh, go to workspace to the option which allows us to do an event study. In the uh, workspace ribbon, if the software for workspace is installed on your computer, you have a workspace ribbon in Excel. The data stream option is where you go and you go to the option new request table for the event study. It'll start uh, a new sheet with some macros in it. Uh, let's save this uh, for now. This is my uh, example request table. This, by the way, is a macro-enabled uh, request table uh, sheet, just so you know. We need to take this step by step, so we're going to use the codes which we had before. In this case, I'll be using the data stream codes. Let's copy these for the first 35 uh, in our sample. We can paste them in the column for the find series. Next, we need a start and an end date, which are in columns G and H. So let's take these from uh, this sample. Let's see, uh, we put uh, the dates, the starting dates in the first column, and we need to indicate that this is specifically a date. Otherwise, that won't work. Now, um, same goes for the end date. So we need to get the end date over here. So let's do that for the first 35. This is just a small example, of course. So I'm doing just a limited example. So now we have our series and we have our starting date and an end date for each window. Uh, Let's finish the screen, uh, the sheet with all the options. So yes, we want to do an update. Just click on the button. We want to do a time series update. For the select format, uh, we can select a number of options. Usually these should include uh, these options. And I usually also want these original data stream codes or icing codes, if you use those. I want the codes back in my uh, output. So I also mark this option. Then you see that appear here. That needs to happen for every row, for each event. So let's copy all that information to the required fields. Then next we need to uh, yeah, 
choose a certain data type, a certain variable that we want to have information on. In this case, I want price information for 20 days after the merger or acquisition. I just click on data types. Again, a new pop-up screen. This is the default screen. We can uh, type in a search and search for a variable in the search bar at the top. In this case, the item that I need is already available. Just click on the option you want and it'll go back here. If you want to uh, change the currency of the data type, uh, in this case you can do that. Uh, basically, uh, this is for instance if you want to convert uh, the data to uh, euros. And you can do a similar thing for US dollars. Um, you can figure this out using the uh, options which are available in Workspace. Um, as you go, you'll learn how to convert these things. Uh, we need to do this for all the events. So let's copy this downwards for all the rows, for all the events. We have 20 workdays that we want data for, 20 prices. So the data needs to be daily. You can change that. But daily is fine, so we click on frequency. Again, we copy this downwards for all the events. And the final bit is basically where does the data need to go. What we do is we create a new sheet, then we go back, and we use the data destination button to select a specific uh, column and uh, row where the first series needs to download. We can do the same thing for uh, the next one and then we can kind of calculate where everything goes because basically just you can copy this downwards for everything else. Oh, there we go. And you see it calculates the row where the new series will be downloaded. So now we're finished. We have the sheet ready and we can click the process table button on the left side to start downloading the data. There we go. If you go to the new sheet, you see here it has downloaded specific data for specific windows. You see the code appears back and you also see the name of each company for which we've downloaded data. This concludes this small introduction.